you really need to look at doing something or your camper is not going to last. I mean, you're going to, you're going to shake it to death. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence and live amazing. And we definitely had to push past fear with our fifth wheel on travel days. It just seemed like every travel day, we were afraid to open the door because of the things that would fall off in travel. This had to have happened in transport. Oh, oh my God, this is like a heartbreak. I yeah, mean, yeah, we had uh, our share of catastrophes on the road. <laughs> well, I mean, people say it's a rolling earthquake when you bring your travel trailer or fifth wheel. If you don't know, we have a 2020 Grand Design Solitude 310 GK. We got it in March of 2020. This is not something that is exclusive to Grand Design. It's If you've got a trailer that was built in the last, I don't know, 10 years, you've got either Dexter or Lippert axles. They're on leaf springs with an equalizer in between. It is just a bare bone suspension system. So we decided to video what was happening while we were driving down the road. And it actually made us sick to watch it. Yeah, it was hard to watch. I mean, <laughs> a, I don't even like to watch it now, even after we've, we've fixed all of this issue. Right. And that's actually what this video is about is the solution to this because everybody has this problem. Like Paul said, if you have a fifth wheel or mm -hmm. even the older ones, you, you likely have this problem. And if you plan on keeping your camper for a while or traveling a lot, if you're full timers like us, we've been on the road over three years, you really need to look at doing something or your camper is not going to last. So talk about some of the things that we discovered when we opened up the door. Well, the big one was the island collapse. We arrived at a uh, some friend's house in Mark and Ann High uh, in Montana. We opened the door. We were going to show them our, our beautiful rig. <laughs> and, uh, we were so embarrassed because our island looked like the Titanic. Yep. One end had collapsed. Now, a regular thing that happened uh, besides the island was the microwave would actually open, spill out the rack, and then close. Yeah, luckily that glass turntable never came out and shattered because I've heard of that happening. We got lucky and that didn't happen in our case, but you started taping it shut. We've come in a couple of times and found the, the trim around the windows, the fascias on the uh, window trim have come off, <laughs> laying on the ground or on the, on the couch or on the sofa. Yes, and then one time the recliner unhooked from its neighboring recliner and started walking out in the room. Now there are a couple of different ways you can go. There are slipper spring kits that you can put on with or without shock absorbers. There's an equalizer. I forget who makes it, but it's got an airbag built into the equalizer. Uh, but you still have your, your leaf springs in those systems. And the one thing that always scared me about doing that rather than the, the way the solution that we went with was the shackles breaking off, the hangers breaking off the frame or a leaf spring breaking. It happens all the time. The leaf springs, they break right near one of the eyelets. And if that happens and you're out on the road somewhere, you know, good luck finding a leaf spring to replace it with. It could take days. I want to brag on Paul for a minute. So when we knew we wanted to do something, Paul took months doing research, just checking everything, calling frame, were they frame shops, suspension shops, yeah, yeah. and we visited a couple shops and, you know, trying to find something that really was going to be the best solution for longevity and, you know, allow us to go places. It seems like the roads are getting worse, so that makes it another reason that you will want to do something. But in the process of doing all of the research, I started thinking about the leaf springs and the and the busted shack, the busted hangers and all of that stuff. And I thought, you know, I just got to choke it back and, and do, it's the most expensive uh, system that you can do with these things, but it's also the best. And, and isn't that a rule in, in life that you've probably learned that, that you get what you pay for? So what's it called? It's called More Ride. More Ride's uh, independent suspension. Uh -huh. and, and we want you to know that this is something that we paid for. You know, we want to just share it with you um, because 
we feel like it's worth it, and it, it wasn't cheap either. It's, you know, what, about $8,000? Yeah, it was eight grand. yeah. And that yeah. included brakes, though. We upgraded Yeah, that's, yeah, hydraulic disc brakes went with it. You could do it cheaper if you don't do the hydraulic disc brakes. If you're going to live full-time in one of these like we do and travel a lot like we do, it's the one that made sense for, for us. And we had camping neighbors that had the system on their fifth wheel on their solitude right. and they had one of those knife sets you know where you put them in the, the the block of wood they just left it on the counter and we're like whoa there was nothing that we could ever ever leave out so I actually did some video tests that we'll show you in a minute of the th of before and after with this but talk about what the more ride is what it entails you know the cutting off the axles and all that well yeah I mean they basically when you take your rig into more ride they take the axles out of course but they cut everything off of the frame each wheel has its own suspension independent suspension is each wheel moves independently of all the others most cars nowadays have independent front suspension some have independent rear suspension so what that means is the original way was if we went in we went over a bump on the wheel on the right the wheel on the left would is going to react somehow yes yeah yeah you also get i think with the standard suspension you've got about three inches of travel and with the more ride you have five so it'll absorb a lot more before it bottoms out mm -hmm. and and that's important too so what we did before we even took our rig into more ride i put cameras inside and we did a test we found a long block that went over railroad tracks that went over potholes and we also tested on the highway before and after it's not perfect but boy, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, you're still going to see stuff moving around in the inside the rig, even with the independent suspension. But here's the thing. So I put a glass of water in the sink, filled it with water, mm -hmm. put it in the sink before. And we could hardly even go 30, 40 seconds and that water would be spilling over. And we actually drove, I mean, we drove a couple hours with that water sitting in the sink. I mean, that, that was amazing. It smoothes out as much as you're going to smooth out a 15,000 pound box rolling down the highways. So know that this is a two day process and more ride will take care of you pretty much the whole process. So they assign you one person who works with you. So it's very easy to keep an update and know what's going on. And we were very impressed also with the work the welder did. As you can imagine, if you are a regular viewer, <laughs> Paul was going to be watching what's going on, and we were there the whole time. And what was your impression of Jay and the welding? Oh, it was, yeah, I built a couple of hot rods in my garage when I had my sticks and bricks house, and so I did my share of welding. But I consider myself not much more than a hobbyist when it comes to welding. And I was just so impressed with what I saw when, when he welded. There's, some, there's a big piece that you have to weld on um, that the that the suspension mounts to. And after he was done, I got under there and looked at his welds. And for you welders out there, he was he stacked dimes as, w as well mm -hmm. as anybody I've ever, I've ever seen. I have to say, everything Moride did was top notch. Now, while you're at Moride, they have other products, they have accessories and stuff. So what else did we get done? Well, the big one was the tray. We put a tray in the front compartment that I mount, that I have, we have the generator on now. It comes out 200%, so it comes way out. The generator is way clear of the uh, door opening when it's, when it's out there. They also make them for, if you have a pass-through, they make yeah. the full big drawer for the pass-through. Yep. And they make a, just a lot of stuff on site. A, a, yeah. You know, they make the suspension on site. They have a factory. Oh, yeah. But we also picked up another accessory that I really like, and that is automatic step lights. There are just these battery-powered lights that are motion-sensitive that come on at night. Yeah, they're just little strip lights, and they mount, if you have a Moride step, there's, there's little... Um, grooves for lack of a better word that uh, that you run two screws in and you're and it's it's mounted it's that simple and now it's been three months we've never had the microwave open while we're traveling i no longer have to tape it shut the wait time for making an appointment 
can be out there. The last we heard, it was over a year out. So if you're thinking about this, you might wanna go ahead and get on the schedule. It's two days that you'll be in northern Indiana where all the RVs are near Elkhart. They'll want you there the first day, 6 a.m., but they have camping in their parking lot, you know, where mm -hmm. you can plug in mm -hmm. and get water. And they will feed you, they'll give you lunch, and there's snacks, there's a lobby if you want to wait. And we thought we were, because it's a two-day thing, we thought we were going to spend the two days there because you can actually stay in your rig in the shop but they are running a factory behind there. So we ended up going to a hotel. We thought that yeah. made more sense. And we yeah. had our dog at that time. Yeah, Mango was still with us at that time. And Yeah, and that's what we recommend. It's just easier if you get a hotel. The time that we went to Elkhart and did this was in September, just a couple weeks before we lost our dog Mango and a few weeks before my back went out. So that's why you're seeing this video now. Yeah, when, you're, when your back went out, that changed everything. I mean, it changed our entire schedule for, for a little over a month. And yeah. uh, we were, I was scrambling, trying to, trying to figure out what to do. We're still a little traumatized yeah, from that. Yeah, that was a, that was a major trauma. That was worse than the, than tearing the back of the rig off. I mean, that, in, in retrospect, that was minor compared to your back, your back issue. If you were there with us through that, thank you so much. We so appreciate your support. So now that we have the, the new IS suspension, what would we have done differently? I would have done it sooner. Yeah, definitely protect our rig sooner. So let us know what has fallen apart in your travel trailer fifth wheel as you're going down the road. Yeah, I'm sure things have fallen off, fallen, fallen over. So yeah, <laughs> let us know in the comments. <laughs> and be safe out there. Yeah.